And welcome back to our last newscast. I'm still your host, Colin Hunziker. And I'm Clint Chamley. And Clint, we got to do the joke of the day. But not only the joke of the day, the joke of the year. So what is it? I'm done wearing glasses. Why are you done wearing glasses, Clint? I've seen enough. I see how it is. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you, Clint. Currently, our baseball team is 7-7. Seven and seven. We've had a couple great wins and a couple close losses. That being said, we'll start districts May 13th, and I'll be conducting an interview with our only senior this year, Ryan Tweedy. So I'm here with Ryan Tweedy. And Ryan is our only senior this year for baseball, so I've got a couple questions for you. You got time to answer? Yes, sir. All right, so you've been playing for four years. Tell me a little bit about your experience. What are some highs and lows that you went through? Well, we're going to start off a sophomore year. We didn't have a season sophomore year, obviously, because of corona. We played two weeks of practice and then instantly got kicked out. Got told by Dr. Crack to show up to practice, told us to leave. Uh, junior year was a pretty rough year for me. Uh, obviously, I quit. It was a pretty rough year. Uh, this year, though, probably my favorite year yet. You know, only being, being the only senior, it's not – it's not fun, but it's also, I get to make a lot of memories with these guys, and uh, yeah. All right, so your brother is actually our assistant coach this year. He was a former player, played for JJ, I think, all four years, right? He did. Does that mean anything special to you? Like, does it affect you in any way when it comes to baseball? Uh, yeah, actually, it uh, motivates me every day. I wear number 14, actually, because Brent did, and uh, it's fun being out there with him and him coaching me. Yeah. All right. So, do you have any advice to any baseball players that want to play or maybe thinking about it, but they're not sure yet? I would just give it a try. You know, uh, JJ is a very hard coach. He's very competitive. Uh, he's going to make you work your butt off, but you just got to push through and uh, keep your head high. Yeah. And that is all my questions. Thank you for answering, Ryan. I will see you after school for yes, practice. Sir. Hey, with that being said, I'm going to pass it on to Clint. He's going to run through the track segment. Track season is coming to the end with district competition on Saturday, May 7th. Sectionals will be Saturday, May 14th. And state competition will be Friday, May 20th and Saturday, May 21st. Best of luck to the track team. Mr. Chamley, thank you. Now, I'm going to be talking about Scholar Bowl. Anyway, as I said in my last segment on the last newscast, on the 20th of April, we took on the Father Tolton Trail Blazers uh, to play them in the uh, regional quarterfinal. It was a very, very good game, but unfortunately, we did lose. We lost both games by 80 points, which isn't actually bad, though there was a very difficult set of questions in particular. But still, we had a very, very good season. We finished with a record of 24-8, and which in my opinion is pretty good. Um, also, I'd like to give a big thank you to the community for supporting us on that night. Uh, again, the band room was just absolutely packed. It was by far the biggest crowd we've ever had to a Scholar Bowl match. Uh, the student, some of the members of the student body was there as well. So I'd just like to thank everybody for showing up and supporting us this season, especially in that game in particular. Now, our varsity team was mostly seniors. Uh, those seniors included our captain, Brody Waterman, um, Dame Brewer, Donald Anderson, Joseph Winger, Carson Clark and William Queen. Uh, shout out to those guys. Those are six very bright young men and they are going to go into great things in the future. So I wish luck to them as well. Um, but I think next year is also going to be a very good year. Um, and I think that we are going to continue this reign of dominance. Also, a big thank you to Mr. Reardon for coaching us to another great season. And now I'm going to talk with Brian about golf. Hi, I'm Brian James. And I'm Lucas James, and we are in no way, shape, or form related. Now, we're going to talk about golf. There are five seniors on the team. Those include Emily Frazee, Dylan Schantz, Allie Hayden, who actually just recently signed a scholarship with Culver Stockton College to play golf. Congrats to her. Garrett Romine. And Dane Brewer. Clark County FBLA has had a great year. They held their annual officer interviews today, May 4th, and FBLA induction will be Wednesday, May 18th. And thank you, Clint, for that FBLA segment. This is now going to be our last outro for the year. Anything you want to say, Clint? We just want to thank you guys for watching all the newscasts. We really enjoyed making them. You really made it happen for us. And congratulations to all the seniors that are graduating this year, and everyone have a great summer.